Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about vitamin E. And if you've been watching some of my uh, latest videos, um, I've been saying that the researchers in medicine prior to World War II did feeding studies and they knew a lot more about how nutrients affected the body. And then the government took over, the AMA took over, and they degraded the, the knowledge and the literature on what uh, foods can do for our bodies. This is a book from 1944. It's called The A Vitaminoses which means um, A means without, vitamin, OCs means a condition of. So they took vitamins out of uh, foods and they fed those foods to animals and then they saw degeneration in the, in the health of the animals. So I'm going to talk about vitamin E specifically. So when you look at vitamin E supplements, they're going to have words in the ingredients list like tocopherol or tocotrienol. And there's four different versions of tocopherol, alpha, beta, Gamma, Delta, and same thing with tocotrienols. There's four different versions of them, and they're also Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. So the point here is that these um, come from modern research, and these are what they call forms of vitamin E. It's like saying um, a hubcap on a car. It's like if you want to take uh, a cool Rolls, Rolls Royce uh, down the road, here's the hubcap. It doesn't work out. It just is not the same. It's not enough. So if you have a vitamin E supplement in your kitchen, in the pantry, and you read the ingredients, and the, the ingredients are these things, do yourself a favor and throw it away. Because it's not meant for human consumption. These are chemicals. And what you want is a combination of all the nutrients, of all the uh, forms of vitamin E that come together in plants, in foods, in animal glandulars. So I'm going to talk about a supplement, <clears throat> Cataplex E, from 1934. And uh, one of my favorite supplement companies, Standard Process. And they uh, were developed by a guy named Royal Lee. And he knew the foundations of, of uh, poor health. It's lactic acidosis. And he put his supplements together to all treat lactic acidosis, plus supply nutrients to heal an organ or nutrients to supply nutrients. So this is one of his favorite books back then. This is 1944 and um, he was making supplements from 1925 through um, through the late 50s, early 60s. So this is um, chapter 13 on the nature and function of vitamin E. So in 1921 and 1922 they were doing feeding studies on animals and they found that uh, there was uh, problems with uh, animal's body and they knew that it was a deficiency of a certain uh, fat soluble vitamin. It wasn't vitamin A, D, or um, B. And uh, so then somebody some, uh, thought, well, let's just call it substance, substance X. So in 1923, they reported that it's lack of this substance X, later known as vitamin E, its lack not only produced fetal death in female rats, but complete sterility in males. And that's one symptom. I mean, there's other symptoms of a pure, true vitamin E deficiency other than fetal death and sterility. Okay, so now that's 1921, 1922, and then a guy named Dr. Shore in 1923... Uh, designated the, the term vitamin E. It was just the next one in the alphabet. They had A, B, C, and D already. And next one was E. Okay, so along comes our wonderful American Medical Association Council on Foods 1936. And this is what they said. The AMA's Council on Foods in 1936 allowed no claims of value for vitamin E and human nutrition. Why is that? Because they were trying to squash all the nutri nutrition information and substitute it with poisonous chemicals. Okay, they're holding that, and this is a smaller print right here in quotes directly from this council. There are at present no adequate scientific data establishing the role of vitamin E in human dietetics. Okay, total lie. It's just to total cronyism, and our whole supplement industry has gone the way of the American Council, uh, Amer AMA Council on Foods. And, um, Nutrition. Okay, it says it is included in vitamin tablets and capsules mainly for its ability to protect other vitamins from oxidative destruction. 
for its antioxidant value. There you go. There's the term antioxidant showing up in the 1930s from the AMA. And they did this too with vitamin C. They call vitamin C an antioxidant. It only protects other nutrients. Okay, well, we know that's false. Vitamin C reverses heart disease. It does an amazing amount of things. So um, in, our, in the natural healthcare field, we have all these doctors who think that ascorbic acid is vitamin C. It's not. We have all these doctors that think tocopherols and uh, tocotrienols are, vi are vitamin E. They're not. This is garbage. Throw it away. Okay, so Cataplex E from Standard Process, 1934, has these ingredients. The, the main ingredient is dried pea vine juice. So the vines that the, uh, that the uh, pea pods hang on, the little tiny vines, those vines are, are um, juiced and then the water's taken out. So it's dried juice of the pea vines. That's the main source of vitamin E. Then you have this uh, substance called orchic. It allows nutrients to get through the body. Inositol is a uh, B vitamin that cleans fat out of uh, organs like the liver and the pancreas so the organs function better. Here's the RNA which increases circulation throughout the body to get the nutrients uh, to go all the way to your fingertips and your toes. Here's adrenal in Cataplex E to give your body energy so you can heal at night. It also has beets, beet root so that your gallbladder and your liver work better so you can uh, digest fats. And vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin so you gotta digest the fats. And then you got spleen for a strong immune system, clean blood, and strong blood cells. Lastly, you got liver. Liver does enormous amounts of things in the body, including digesting fats, but also um, hormone activation and detoxification. So um, there you go. There's my little tirade on uh, vitamin E. I hope you learned a lot. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate who you are. I appreciate that you're watching this video. My, my uh, friends and viewers on YouTube are extremely smart. I appreciate that.